you're looking at the Vivitar um, DVR 910 HD digital video recorder from Vivitar, of course. It is an HD video camera, but not really. It records an HD ratio, but not HD quality. The screen is a 2.7 inch LCD screen. does not tilt, so you cannot turn it around for blogging, or if you're having a horrible glare, also can't turn it around. The power button is on the inside, which means you turn it on, you have to open up the screen, which is, I guess, okay because you don't accidentally hit the power button, but at the same time, you know, not really going to work that well for you. And of course, there's no latch, so the screen so flops around. You can just sort of shake it all open. It's not that good. Um, and you have your um, width and um, zoom in and zoom out button, your photo button and your video recording button, your joystick and your Vivitar strap. LEDs on the front allow you to um, get into those night views so you can actually things at night or on other cameras that does not have. That's really nice. You click in the joystick to activate that function. Let's go boot this thing up. Okay, so when you first boot it up, you get the video camera recording mode, and then you get the photo, and then your viewing, which we don't have any files. Really basic, your menu consists of the joystick operated menus, and you click in as the okay button. It does not have any macro on this camera, so basically you can just get close and you will have absolutely no focus, which is not good. Another thing about the camera that we dislike is, of course, that the screen has no sensor. So you close the screen, it will not turn off the screen, it'll keep it running. And as you can see, see it's still on. And it will waste the battery tremendously if you accidentally forget to press the power button. The very top consists of two little slots. One for the memory card which supports up to 32 gigs, which is quite nice, but you're really not going to need it for the type of quality this thing records in. EV out and USB. I don't know why they didn't put it HDMI. It's supposedly HD, but it's not really. So I guess it really sort of shows that the camera is not that high quality. And your mini USB. I don't know why they marked it with memory card that big, sort of looks phony, but that's just sort of a appearance, not really it. There is a tripod attachment on the very bottom, so you can attach it to most tripods, which is quite nice, and it fits right in the center of gravity, so it's not that bad. Um, and of course, now don't let this fool you, this is made of plastic on the front. You feel it, it feels really plastic. The entire camera feels really plasticky, so you're not going to get a good high quality feel. It looks like a video camera, and you inside the packaging you'll be like, oh my gosh, it's a video camera for $149, and it's just an HD! Don't let that fool you. Impulse buy. Not really that good. Um, overall, the camera itself, probably not worth it. You can get some other cameras in the markets for around 200 and up. Inside the packaging, you will receive this. Your audio video adapter, which is in this nice little port that plugs into the top. And your um, video and your audio, not dual stereo sound. Vivitar Experience software on this nice little CD. Also, PC, Mac, um, probably not the best. We installed it. We're not so pleased. It is a nice piece of software, but does not really compensate for the horrible quality of the camera. Your user manuals, warranty certificates, nice little things. Mess around with a mini USB cable which allows you to plug it into laptops and such, and PS3s and Xboxes and yada yada yada. So this entire camera acts as an SD card reader. Overall, we're not so pleased with it. Um, I think we'd rate it probably on the scale of maybe a 7.1 out of 10, and that's pushing the limits just because, of course, you can record videos with it. I guess that's sort of good, but not for professional environment. Home videos, yay. Professional, no. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at thinktacular at spectacular.net. And remember, um, feel free to post your comments, go to our website, click on ads, earns us money so we can buy more products, like hopefully not this one, to review. So anyway, thank you for watching the spectacular.net video review. 
If you have any questions, contact me at thinktacular.net. Have a nice day and thinktacular.